WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida, with your 2 p.m. update. And currently, we have all the U.S. indices trading to the downside. The Dow's up 100, 100 1,082. That's a little over 3%. S&P 3 and 7 tenths percent are 155. NASDAQ down by 700 points. That's 5%. Russell's up 4.5% or 85 points. Semi's up 150. That's 5%. Gold's trading out at 1874. Silver at 2240. Lights be crude 10809. That's up 28 cents. The big winner out here, chicken, chicken dinner, is the uh, natural gas, up 32 cents, trading out at 873. The spot volatility index is up by 22% so far. So one day rate of change, folks, above plus 10%. That means at 4 p.m. If you've got a one day rate of change, the spot volatility index is above 10%. What you're going to look for and anticipate is some type of overnight rally or some type of rally that begins in the morning. And you're going to look for some type of roads mintum indicator signal, maybe a TD9 count bottom out there. That's what you'd be looking for. No reason for us to go take a look at that right now. Those of you who've listened to the Trader Z show, you see that pattern all the time. So you know what to look for. If you'd like to learn that pattern, I can teach you to subscribe to Mastering Probability. You've got access to a bunch of hours that will show you that exact pattern out there. In the meantime, though, let's go switch over and take a look at our uh, individual charts for the indices, see what they're communicating to us. We begin by looking at the Dow. Looked like it was a, a rally and then it fizzled. The Dow price is trading back inside that February 24 swing point. As long as it closes below that high, which is 33,269, can go test the low. If you look at the S&P 500, she's trading back into her swing point, that swing point from just a few days ago. So rejection would be a rejection would be a close above. 41.69.81. You close inside that, may get back down and test that low. The NASDAQ 100, it's trading inside its swing point from the trading day of April, May the 2nd. If it uh, closes inside, that means below 13.08.357. Price may go test the low, 12.7.16.62. Russell's doing the same thing. It's testing its swing point for May 2nd. That low out there is 18.39.30. The semis, as Mike and the uh, Portugal uh, shared with us they were pulling back on lighter volume and prices above its red oscillator and chains on it has a three drive to a bottom pattern. So the semis are saying, at least at this stage, until they fail, they're saying that the market still want to move higher. Folks, stay tuned. Your favorite polar bear, David White's up next. After that, Tom O'Brien, and I'll be back with you tomorrow. I'm going to do my show, the Trader Z show, from eight to nine. So join us live if you'd like to. Would love to have you as company serving tea and crumpets. Have a terrific Thursday, folks. The